On to the second story of the Cthulhu Deep Down Under book. This one's called The Dog Pit by Jason Fisher, another Australian author, and Shauna O'Meara did the uh, rather funky illustration. Quite nice, very nice. Um, the Dog Pit really, really drew me in. Uh, it's the first story I think of Jason's that I've read. I might have read a couple in the past, I don't recall specifically. Um, he's introduced some really good characters that could potentially um, become a, a, a movie or even a whole series of books. He's introduced as the Dutchman. The Dutchman finally found the boy out on the gold diggings. It's a very Australian book. Um, some of the terminology was a little bit lost on me, to be honest. Uh, I felt like I needed a glossary at times. Uh, you can imagine what the gold diggings is or was or could be. Um, and I guess for a short story, you know, there's no space to introduce some of these uh, places, locations. And it's set in a time when uh, opium dens were rife and it reminded me a little bit of some of the stories by Lovecraft, of course, it's a it's a Cthulhu Mythos book, and also Brian Lumley, who is one of Lovecraft's uh, uh, descendants, if you like, literary descendants, if not, if not. The Dutchman is basically looking for somebody called Toby Jangles, and the reason he's interested is because Toby has survived uh, a, a Mythos encounter, and the Dutchman is actually pursuing. Uh, evidence of the mythos and, and rooting out and seeking and destroying any mythos related monsters, cultists, activities. So very, very Lovecrafty uh, would be actually perhaps make a great Call of Cthulhu campaign or something like that as well. I must admit I, I ripped through this and I can't remember all of the details of the, of the story, I'm going to read it again, but I really was left with at the end of the story with a hunger for it more. It took days of hard travel to escape from that muddy Victorian gold pit and reach civilization. They took horses and a coach barely deserving the name. The new train from Ballarat took him into Melbourne where it was necessary to engage a clipper to carry them around the coast to Sydney itself. So anyone in Australia will identify with these place names and uh, will really feel like they're drawn into the, the character scene. Toby Jangles is defined as he, he introduces himself as a larrikin swaggering around Sydney the terror of all decent God-fearing folk we were the black wattle push meanest gang of cutters and don't you mind what these gizzard guts at the rocks tell you um, quite what happened to the black wattle push I'll leave you to read and why Toby fled from uh, his patch, his turf, uh, why he abandoned the black The Dutchman's Wolf. real name is Cornelius, and it turns out that he's very, very old. Quite why that is, we're left not knowing. Uh, he returns back to the scene of the pit many years later after he's done the right Over the thing years, there. Cornelius the Dutchman has developed some magical artifacts and powers and powders um, and ways of seeing and uh, engaging with the... Cthulhu um, mythos, which makes him both dangerous and also uh, a marked man, I guess. Uh, and he just recalls the days of uh, the psychic detective, uh, the, the Cthulhu hunting investigators of my days playing Call of Cthulhu. And I just want to read one more. thing about Cornelius I will show with you is that it turns out he's not the most pleasant of characters. And they're my favourite kind of do-gooders, the ones that, you know, he's going around protecting the earth from Cthulhu and his minions, but um, for whose benefit and why and what is he getting from this? 